Hello everyone, welcome to a new benchmark compilation video on this channel. It's been nearly one month since my last video on this channel and oh my god this has been a time, some sort of a roller coaster ride for me. I even got a lot of messages from you guys asking me when new videos are going to be released. Well, the reason for my involuntary break is that I became ill with COVID about a month ago. This literally knocked me out for two weeks. During this time I was basically totally unproductive. I have just played Dota 2 on PC and a lot of Forza Horizon 5 on the Xbox Series S to pass the time. And after these two weeks I wanted to start making videos again but my voice was still totally raspy and I was still coughing the whole day. So I had to wait another two weeks but now I'm finally back with a special system for me personally because today's system is the system that I use on a regular basis for gaming, editing videos and also all my personal stuff. I'm talking about the Intel Core i3, 10,100, 16 gigabytes of the four dual channel RAM, and usually an AMD Radeon RX Vega 56. But for this video, we are only using the integrated graphics called Intel UHD Graphics 630. For today's video, I've been testing 19 games. This video is building up on another video of the Core i3-10100 that I made nearly two years ago when I was already testing 20 of the most played titles from back then. So be sure to check that video out too. I'm going to link the video in the video description and in the top right corner now. So the purpose of today's video is to make a huge update to the previous video and to show that maybe the integrated UHD 630 is still good enough for some light gaming or maybe it's even better, we'll see. But up ahead I must make a very important recommendation. If you're using an Intel Core i3-10100 or a better CPU with only integrated graphics, get a proper dedicated GPU. GPU prices are finally falling again and have already reached their value before the mining hype. There are even some good deals out there, GPUs that I would recommend for pairing with the i3-10100 would be the RTX 3060 Ti or at around 500 euros. If you can afford that GPU, a good alternative product would be a RTX 2060 in new condition for around 280 euros. Or if you don't need the RTX feature level and want only pure performance, a GTX 1070 is still a good card and is being sold at around 180 euros in use but still good condition right now. So you might have guessed it already, CPU performance wise I can still recommend the i3 10100 in 2022. It's still good enough to maintain 60 plus FPS in all titles on the market. There are specifically no game right now that would make this CPU deliver a laggy gaming experience at all. So of course the huge bottleneck in today's video is the integrated graphics Intel UHD 630. That's why I recommended pairing the i3 with a decent dedicated GPU up ahead. But I have to say the UHD 630 is not that bad at all. I mean, two years ago I recommended the i3 10150 UHD 630 to kill time until GPU prices dropped again. Playing using only the UHD 630 is still possible and the performance has been okay in most of the games that I've tested. Some positive surprises were actually Forza Horizon 5 running on this chip, but also games like GTA 5 Online, Valorant or Diablo Immortal left a very good impression performance wise. However, as already two years ago, the UHD 630 isn't a chip for demanding games. That's why Warzone, Apex Legends, PUBG, F1 2021, but also F1 2022 for example, aren't playable at all. 
All in all, the UHD 630 is still okay for playing the most common eSport titles and some lower demanding games like The Sims 4, but the chip is not and will never become a powerhouse performance wise. So I can't really recommend playing on the UHD 630 integrated graphics in 2022 because of the now affordable dedicated GPUs that are a much better option if you're restricted to the UHD 600. 30 and for whatever reason you are unable to upgrade with a dedicated GPU. As shown in this video there are still a lot of titles that can be played pretty well. On a side note, using only the UHD 630, dual channel RAM is very important. If you're only using single channel RAM you're losing at around 20 to 30 percent in terms of FPS compared to dual channel. That's it for my voiceover, I hope you are going to like this video, if you do feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel. I'm going to upload on a regular basis now finally again, I hopefully see you all on the next one, stay safe and somehow avoid getting COVID. Have a great day, goodbye. But they all count, so a level contest, 1-1. Gas is inbound.
Flashbang out. I'm laying down some smoke. under attack.
See if there's a useful. Oh. What is it? You're the one who saved Father Armin.
an answer from this world? <laughs>